solving simultaneous equations graphically. We will go through these six questions covering all kinds of scenarios to give you a full understanding of all the required specific skills related to this topic. We will look at the combination of straight lines, quadratics and circles. And as a bonus, we will compare these graphical methods with linear and quadratic algebraic methods to solve simultaneous equations. Question 1. Match the equation of the four lines. Pause the video to try. And when you're done, come back to check the answers. At any point throughout this video, if you have any questions, post it in the comment below and I'll help you. We need to be familiar with the general form of an equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c, where c is the y-intercept and m is the gradient. y equals 2x plus 3. There are two lines that are crossing the y-axis at 3. One has a positive gradient and the other one has a negative gradient. Positive gradient means that the line is going upwards and negative, it means that the line is going downwards. 2 is a positive number. The line is going upwards. This is the line that we are looking for. Let's label it accordingly. Second equation. x plus y is equal to 4. Instead of comparing it with y equals mx plus c, there is another way that we can do this. We can replace the x or y values with some numbers to find different coordinate points on this line. Let's think of a simple number to replace it with. 0 will be one of the simplest numbers that we can think of. When x is equal to 0, we have 0 plus y is equal to 4. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. The coordinate point 0, 4 is one of the points that's on the line. Let's find another one. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. The coordinate point 4, 0 is another point on the line. And now we've got the matching line. Let's label it. Part 3. 6 equals 2y plus x. Let's rearrange this to make it comparable with y equals mx plus c. 2y plus x is equal to 6. Subtract x from both sides. Then divide across by 2. Our line is y equals minus half x plus 3. It's crossing the y-axis at 3 and it has a negative gradient. The line is going downwards. So we just found our line. Let's label it. And finally, the last one has a y-intercept of minus 2 and there is only one line that crosses the y-axis at minus 2. Part B. Hence, write the solution to these simultaneous equations. The two lines are highlighted in yellow and pink they cross at this point. This is the solution. We just have to read the x and the y coordinate. So the solution is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3. Or as a coordinate point, this is 0, 3. The second part represents these two lines highlighted in yellow and blue. Reading of the solution where the two lines cross is going to be x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2. Question 2. Solve the pair of simultaneous equations by drawing their graphs. Pause the video to try. And when you're done, come back to check the answers. Part A. y is equal to minus 2x plus 4 and x plus y is equal to 3. We start by plotting the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 4, so it crosses the y-axis at 4. The gradient is minus 2. Writing it as a fraction is minus 2 over 1 which is 2 down and 1 across from the point that we have already plotted. And now we can draw the graph. To draw the line x plus y is equal to 3, we can rearrange it to make y the subject. If we do this, we can easily see that the gradient is minus 1 and the y-intercept is 3. We start by plotting the y-intercept. That's where it's crossing the y-axis. Then from that point, draw a gradient of minus 1 one down and one across. Continue the pattern to draw the line. The solution is where these two lines cross. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. Part b. First let's plot the y-intercept. Then the gradient is 3 over 4, 3 up and 4 across. To draw the next line we will rearrange it to make it comparable with y equals mx plus c. Subtract 2x from both sides. Then divide by 4, and now we have the equation of the line in the format of y equals mx plus c. The y-intercept is 6, 
let's plot this, then a gradient of minus half, one down and two across, starting from six. The two lines cross at four, four. This is the solution. Part C. Show that solving the equations algebraically gives the same solution to the equation in part B. Since equation 1 already has y the subject, we will substitute equation 1 into equation 2. We will replace the y in equation 2 by 3 quarters x plus 1. Then simplify it. And this will give us x is equal to 4. For a complete solution, we also need the y. Now we have to substitute x is equal to 4 into one of the equations, equation 1 or equation 2. I'm gonna choose the easier one. We substitute x is equal to 4 into equation 1. So let's replace x with a 4. y is equal to 3 quarters times 4 plus 1. So this gives us the solution. y is also 4, just as expected. Question 3. Emily paid £16 for 4 cakes and 2 cups of teas. 2 cakes cost as much as 3 cups of teas. Write a pair of simultaneous equations and solve them graphically to find the cost of 1 cake and 1 cup of tea. Pause the video to try and when you're done, come back to check the answers. The keywords highlighted in the first sentence can be written as 16 equals 4c plus 2t. And the ones highlighted in the second sentence can be written as 2c is equal to 3t, where c represents cakes and t represents t's. We can change the label of the x and y axis with c and t. To plot the first graph, let's simply find two coordinate points. For simplicity, let's use an easy number. When c is equal to 0, t is equal to 8. Then, let's replace t with a 0. This is also easy to do. The equation will become 16 equals 4c plus 2 times 0. So, when t is equal to 0, c is equal to 4. Let's plot this and draw the line. To draw the second line, perhaps it will be easier to just compare it with y equals mx plus c. Let's make t the subject, because we decided t to become our y-axis. T is equal to 2 thirds c. Comparing this with y equals mx plus c, our gradient is 2 thirds, and our y-intercept is 0. Plotting the y-intercept, and from there, drawing in the gradient 2 up and 3 across, will give us the line. The solution is given where the two lines cross. c is equal to 3, and t is equal to 2. The answer to part A, 1 cake cost 3 pound. And the answer to part B, 1 cup of tea is equal to 2 pounds. Question 4. Solve the simultaneous equations graphically y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 and y is equal to 5x minus 1. Pause the video to try and when you're done, come back to check the answers. We can create a table of values for x and y and plot the corresponding coordinate points. Let's choose for the x values to be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Replacing x with a minus 2, we will have 2 times minus 2 squared plus 3 times minus 2 minus 1. Make sure that the minus 2 is in a bracket. This is equal to 1. Replacing the x with a minus 1 will give us y is equal to minus 2. Then replace x with a 0. This will give us the corresponding y as being minus 1, then so on. Let's draw a coordinate grid and plot the graph. Once we're done, we join the points to create a smooth curve. To draw the straight line y equals 5x minus 1, we start by plotting the y-intercept, minus 1. Then a gradient of 5, and now we can read off these two solutions where the graphs cross each other. x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 1, and x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 4. Question 5. Use the graphical method to find an approximate solution to the pair of simultaneous equations. The graphs of these equations are given below. Pause the video to try, and when you're done, come back to check the answers. There are two places where they cross each other. The x-coordinate of the first point is approximately 0.15. The y-coordinate is approximately 1.15. 
the x coordinate of the second point is approximately equal to 1.59 and the y is approximately 0 0.08. For part b, we need to solve it algebraically to two decimal places. Part a gave us an approximation because they didn't cross at whole numbers. Solving it algebraically, we can get a more accurate result. First, label the equations 1 and 2. Next, rearrange the linear equation. We have to make x or y the subject of the formula, doesn't matter which one. Making y the subject, equation 2 can be written as y equals minus 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4. We replace y in equation 1 with minus 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4. And now we can solve this equation to find the possible values of x. Let's start by adding 0.75x to both sides. This will get rid of the x on the left hand side. Then subtract 1.25 from both sides. Here we can divide across by 3 to work with smaller numbers, or we can simply leave it like this and plug these values into a quadratic formula, where a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 5.25, c is equal to 0 0.75. Replacing the values, we have the following. Make sure that you take into account all the correct signs and the brackets. Carefully typing this in the calculator, the solutions are 1.59307 and so on. This is when we have a plus in front of the square root, and the second solution is 0 0.156929 and so on. And this is the solution we get when we have a minus in front of the square root. Replace this in the equation y equals minus 3 quarter x plus 5 over 4 to find the corresponding y values. Once we've done this, we've got the complete two sets of solutions. x is equal to 1.59, y is equal to 0 0.06 to two decimal places, and x is equal to 0.16, y is equal to 1.13. This is the same or very close to the solution that we found in part A. Question 6. Use a graphical method to find an estimate for the solution to the simultaneous equations x squared plus y squared is equal to 16 and x plus y is equal to 2. Pause the video to try and when you're done, come back to check the answers. In the first equation, 16 is a radius squared. We can write the equation of a circle with center 0, 0 as x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. To find out more or solve problems involving equation of circles, click the link above. Comparing the equation of circles, we can see that the radius is 4. So let's draw our circle with center 0 and radius 4. The equation of the straight line x plus y is equal to 2 will cross the x and the y axis at 2. The two sets of solutions are approximated by the following. When x is minus 1.6, y is 3.7. And when x is 3.7, y is minus 